Good evening, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well tonight. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Merit College Esports. So tonight we have our Rocket League team back. They will be playing against Kettering University in the Nays Star League Varsity Plus competition. Uh, we are getting things set up, and hopefully I get an invite to the lobby. Hint, hint. But... Uh, while I'm waiting for that, we'll go over a couple of things. So, first of all, who's going to be playing on the, the team today? So, we're going to have here uh, freshman Joel Christman v Corsic playing. We're going to have coming in sophomore Justin Shanklin Shank playing on the team today. And then we will also have freshman Corey Burkhalter and uh, Cloden playing. And, of course, that we have uh, our coaches, head coach Derek Games, Games Grump, our Rocket League coach, uh, Katie Labar Kimothy. And uh, also Noah Calgill, Kai, as uh, assistant Rocket League coaches. But All right, let me go over a few announcements. Uh, so first, I do want to give a shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Merida College Esports. Uh, they have provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, uh, microphones. Uh, great quality. We're using actually one of their Quad X microphones in our... Uh, facility. If you would like to uh, check out some HyperX, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. Uh, the QR code is up on your screen. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza. Uh, so every Tuesday and Thursday, they have their um, they have their game nights where they have a Switch available and you can play uh, all sorts of uh, Switch titles. And on Tuesdays, they'll be streaming uh, the Overwatch matches, since we do have Overwatch uh, matches on uh, Tuesdays. I'm getting invited to the lobby, so that's why I feel uh, it sounds like I'm a little uh, distracted because I'm trying to make sure I get into the uh, the, the lobby here. But anyway, uh, yeah, thank you, Overdue Pizza, for your support. Please be sure to uh, join. But yeah, so please be sure to uh, join here. And is there a way to add? There we go. All right, just making sure I'm getting everything set up here because I'm getting messages at the same time. There we go. But all right, yes. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, over the pizza, Tuesdays, be there. Also, thank you all for your follows and subscriptions on our channel. Please be sure to subscribe. It's much appreciated. If you haven't used your Prime Gaming sub yet, please go do it. If you don't have Prime Gaming and you have Amazon Prime, go to gaming.amazon.com. Create a Twitch account. Connect it to your Amazon Prime. It gives you perks, like a free sub that you can use on any channel you want to, including ours. And that will help financially support our program. So thank you so much. So with that said, let's get into the first game here. In this best of five series, we have Marietta College versus Kettering University. Marietta will be on the blue side. And we're going to see an early goal coming out uh, from Kettering. So just a nice pass there to uh, Tugsy. Tugsley. I think it's an L. So we see Kettering does strike first. Ball's going to go up to the very side. Tugsley is going to try to set up the play, but Cloden's going to knock it down the field. Still has a little bit of boost left, but Haxer is going to pass it over to Nathaniel, who now Haxer is going to try to set up the play, but it actually goes off to the side. So Cloden's going to take the ball down the field, tries to get away from Nathaniel, but doesn't do so. But V. Corsic will knock it down, pass it over to Cloden, who will pass it to no one. Nathaniel's going to take it away. Now the is going to pass the tugs is going to go for the shot. It bounces a little bit to the left. Clonon's going to get it away from the. Uh, uh, I think it was Haxer. Clonon is going to get demo. Shank's going to go for the shot, but Tugsley is there for the block. Clonon is now going to set up an open goal, and it goes right in, and Marietta is on the board. Clonon was just able to take advantage of the opening, knocking the ball under Haxer, who used up his boost, lost control. And just an open goal there. So now they tied up one apiece. Four minutes, five re seconds remaining in this first game. See, Shank does get the ball away, but Clonin's going to get demoed once again. 
Axe is going to take the ball over, but V Course is going to keep up the aggression. Shank is going to fall back. But now we see Nathaniel is going to set up the play for Kettering, bouncing it over. And Tugsley and Hatcher double commit. Cloden's going to take it down the field, but Nathaniel wants to disrupt it, but he doesn't have much boost left. Shank's going to tip it over. Get it? It's away from Haxers, but Tugsley is going to be there to stop it, but he's going to try to set up the play, take it down the field. Doesn't have any boost left, but still goes for the shot, but Cloden is there for the block. Gets it away from Haxer, so now he's just going to get through Nathaniel. Is going to dip in the air. Then he's going to go for the shot, but Tugsley is there with the epic save. So now Shank is going to set up the play. He's going to fall back a little bit. Cloden going to try to display a little bit more aggressive. Haxter taking down the field. Then he's going to pass it to Tugsley. He gets demoed by V. Corsic. Cloden's going to knock it down all the way, but Nathaniel is there to intercept. Golden tries to snatch away, doesn't do so, but Shank gets it away. Tugsley's going to set up now. Going straight for what appears to be an open goal, but the Pioneers do get to defend. Cloden's going to get demo, but V. Corsic's going to take it down. We're seeing Kettering playing a little bit more aggressive. V. Corsic's going to get demo. Now Tugsley's going to go for the shot, but a huge save there by Shank. Nathaniel's going to go for the shot, but he doesn't quite connect. Now Cloden's going to center up, passing it over. Well, Tugsley goes to Clo Tugsley, who goes for the shot. I think that was intended to go to Shank, but Tugsley gets there at the last second and is able to snatch it away. Dubuque Corsic just ferociously takes it away from Hacker. He's just like, get that thing out of here. Now Shank's going to get the save, but Nathaniel's going to try to set up another play for Kettering. Hacker's going to go for the shot, but doesn't get it. Now Tugsley has that full boost, looking for that opportunity. Shank knocks it away. A little bit of bumping going left to right. Hacker's going to try to set up the shot. It doesn't go in, but Boy Corsic is able to get it out of there. Now minute 48 remains. V Corsic gets it away from the goal once again. Kettering putting up that pressure onto the Pioneers. They need to find a way to get the ball out of there. Nathaniel's trying to be very patient. Going to pass it over to Tugs. It goes for shot, but Cloden is able to knock it away. And it's just going to go. Oh, oh, it does go in. Shank goes downtown to secure it. It just keeps going. Nathaniel's like, no, they got to stop this. He gets the bump, and Shank is right there to knock it in. And the Pioneers will tie it up with a minute 29 rating. You can see how excited he is about making that play. Shank's going to win the tip off, and the ball's going to go just a little wide there. Conan bounces it towards the, the center. Cloden's going to center it up. Nathaniel does snatch it away. Shank is going to intercept. Haxer's tried to take the ball away, but doesn't get so. Shank gets one juke, but Nathaniel's going to try to take it back, but V. Corsic's going to tip it into the air. Now we got one minute remaining. It's one goal, two goals apiece, so tied up. So it could very well be next goal wins, and Kettering wants this. But Cloden's going to get it past, past Tugsley. Nathaniel's going to knock it down towards the field. Going to try to set the play with Haxer. But Shank's going to tip it away to prevent that. Now we're down to 40 seconds. Tugsley going to center the ball. Going for the play. Hits the crossbar. And Haxer was going to try to do the follow-up. But doesn't quite connect. 30 seconds remaining. Nathaniel shots towards the wrong side of the goal. But Tugsley does knock it away. But Haxer is going to try to set up. Nathaniel knocks it away. So the Pioneers are going to fall back. The 15 seconds. V course, it gets the block. So now 10 seconds remaining. It's still tied. Bowden gets bumped. The ball's in the air. So Kettering wants to go for the overtime. Trying to keep that ball in the air as much as possible. But Nathaniel gets demoed, so now we're in overtime. Whoever scores next will take this first game. And it's a tied tip-off, just kind of lobs into the center. 
And we see Kettering going to try to set the plate. Shank is going to center it. Clodin's going to knock it down the field, but it's going to go to that right corner. So Tugs is going to take the ball down, but Shank knocks it away. Paxton tries to make the play, but doesn't quite get it. Nathaniel gets it away from Clodin, and it's just going to be flying over, but Shank does get the save. So the Pioneers stay alive. So Clona goes down the field, but Haxer is going to bounce right back. Shank's going to go into reverse to knock the ball away from the center. And just like that, Kettering will take that first game. It's just a very good setup there. Togsley sends it down. And Clona tries to block it, but it was just too fast. So the first game will go to Kettering. But, I mean, that was a really good performance there for the Pioneers. And shout-outs to Shank playing very well. I mean, we saw uh, he made two shots and made one of the goals. Four saves, just very well defensively. It's just like he's always been playing with the team, even though he's had to take care of other things. But we are getting things set up for the second game here. So we're just waiting for everyone to, to be ready. I think we're just waiting for V Corsica. He's in, so they should be starting any second now. And there they go. So here we go. Paxter's gonna win the tip off. Gonna go. Nathaniel's gonna try to go for a quick strike, but Golden does knock away a little bit. But Tugsley wants to set up another play, and Shanks going to block it. They saw. Remember how Kettering was able to strike first very early in the last game. The Pioneers do not want a repeat of that. Now Shank's going to use all the boost he has to get the ball down the field. Going to get the full boost. Clona and V Corsic are there to contest. In fact, Clona's going to take it back, but doesn't have much boost himself. So he's just going to try to do whatever he can, but Tugsley will knock it away. Shank's going to center it up, but Tugsley's going to take the ball down to the field. V Corsic's going to set the play, but Nathaniel's going to go for the shot, and it's just in that top right corner. And Merida was just not able to defend it. So now it's a tied tip off, but actually no, Tugsley ends up getting the, the ball down and Hax is gonna try to continue that pressure using all of his boost to get the ball centered up. But Clone's gonna knock it away, but Tugsley is there. Shank once again will knock it away, trying to get past Tugsley. Gonna go down towards over to Nathaniel. Clone's gonna knock it towards the center. He course it's trying to use that bounce, but Nathaniel's gonna tip it away, trying to pass the Haxers, but it does get knocked away. Haxer continues to chase down the ball, but Clona is just doing everything he can to play keep away from him. Towards the center, V-Course is going to set up the pass through Clona and goes to the shot, but Nathaniel is there with the save. Now going to take the ball down the field. Shank was not able to disrupt it. Shank gets demo. V-Course there at the last second for a save. And then Shank and Clona double commit to save uh, the shot, but now Shank is out of boost. And that's been the trouble that we're seeing for the Pioneers, just trying to keep that boost well managed. V Corsic is going to try to go for the crossbar play, but Nathaniel's going to tip it over. Thompson's going to take it down the field. But Cloden is going to knock away three minutes for main. Cloden gets demoed, but V Corsic is able to get the save. I think they were trying to get a demo on him just so that they can go for the goal, but they did not get that demo. Now Tugs is going to use his boost to get the ball over, but Clonin does knock it away. Haxer is going to try to make a play, but he's going to miss. So now Nathaniel's got to take the ball towards his side. Trying to fly over, keep full control of the ball. But Daniel is out of boost. So now Clonin's going to try to make a play. Actually, Shank's the one that's going to get it past Tugsley. Passes it over to V Corsic, but doesn't get the ball lined up where it needs to be. Clone's going to go for the shot, but it's going to be wide left. That would have been a perfect opportunity if he got the right angle. The goal was exposed. 
And now Kettering is going to try to use this opportunity to go for a shot. A little bit of bumping going on, but a huge save there by V Corsic. And Kettering was not able to follow up with it. Ball goes down the field. Haxer is going to pass it over to Tugsley. It bounces into the air. Nathaniel's going to tip it over. And now Shank's going to take control. But he's completely out of boost. So there's not much he can do. So now Haxer is going to try to set the play. And a huge save there by Shank. Oh my goodness. I thought the ball was going to go in there. But Shank has just been all over the place. Colden takes the boost. Of course, is going to go for the shot, passing over to Clonin, tries to tip it over, but doesn't get the momentum he needs. A minute 10 remains, and Kettering is still up by a goal. Marion has not been able to score yet. Now we see Nathaniel trying to set up the play for Haxer. One minute remains, Haxer using some of the boost to get back, but bumps to Nathaniel, and Clonin tries to take advantage of the opportunity. Shank goes for the rebound, but still blocked by Tugsley. Tugs is going to go for the shot, but Cloden does get the block. And V-Course is going to go for the shot, but still doesn't get the angle that he needs. Passing it over to Nathaniel. Shank's going to go for the shot, but Tugsley is there for the block. V-Course knocks it into the air. So now 30 seconds remain. Marietta still needs a goal to take the, to get this into overtime. But Axer is going to use his boost to fly over. Goes a little bit too far, passing it over to Tugsley. Setting it up for Nathaniel doesn't get quite the angle. But V Corsic, once again, just a little to the left. Shank's going to try to set the shot, but Nathaniel is there for the block. And now five seconds remain. V Corsic's going to go for the shot, but Nathaniel knocks it away. One second remains. Shank's going to try to set up, but just not going to be able to do it. And Kettering will take the second game, one to zero. So, I mean, we're just seeing there, like, Marion is playing very well defensively. Kettering had 10 shots at the goal that only made one of them. Marietta saved eight shots. Like, they're playing very well defensively, but offensively, Marietta has only made four attempts at the goal. So, they got to work on their offense if they want to get back into this series. So now we're going to get into game three here, and it is match point for Kettering. So now Hax is going to take the ball down the field, passing it over to Tugsley. He's going to try to set up another quick strike. And there you have it. That's a, we've seen that every single time from Kettering to set up that quick play. Tugsley just lines it up along the goal, giving Haxer the opportunity to knock the ball in. And that's just credit to good coordination from Kettering with that play. Now we see Haxer going to go for the shot, but Haxer and V-Corsic both miss. But Colden is going to get the, the save. Nathaniel is going to get the bump and tries to knock it toward down the field. Shank's going to get the, the save, though, to line up that play. Ball goes down towards the field. Hacks are going to look to stop it. Actually, Clonin demos, and it's just an open goal, and Nathaniel's going to punish the team. They're just like, what happened there? So everyone missed, and no one defended. So it was just a free goal there for Kettering. When it's match point, you can't make a mistake like that. Now we're going to see Kettering take the ball down the field. Tugs is going to try to set up the play, but V Corsic is there to knock it away. Baxter now going to try to repeat the play, passing it over to Nathaniel, who scores. And we're starting to see this game get away from the Pioneers. To so passing it over, and that's, ex that's textbook Rocket League right there. Just knocking the ball in the air to line it up so that you can boost into to make the shot. 
So now Nathaniel's going to try to set up the, the play, passing it to Haxer. But a huge save there by Cloden. Nathaniel's going to go for the rebound. Togsley's going to fight for contention of the ball. Cloden's going to take the ball down the field, but he's going to get demoed by Nathaniel. But V Course is going to take the ball away, but Haxer is there and actually gets tipped a little bit. But Cloden's going to get demoed. And we're just seeing Kettering playing very aggressive. They're trying to go for the bumps. They're trying to go for the demos. They're doing everything they can to make sure Marietta can't play their game. Although Hax is going to get demoed by V Corsic this time. But Cloden's going to get demoed. There's just a lot of demolition going on here. So Shank's going to take the ball down the field. But Nathaniel's going to take it away. V. Corsic knocks it away. Now we're going to see Kettering setting up that play once again, lining it up along the side and just creating that opening. So we just see there setting up for Haxer to score. Clone and, and uh, Shank were there to block, but it just was not enough. So now it's four to nothing in Kettering's favor. So Shank's going to knock it down, but Nathaniel's going to intercept it, use all of his boost to take it down the field. So now V Corsig going to go down the field, gets a little bit of boost back, centering it up. Shank's going to go for the play, but he does not connect. So now Tugsley is going to take the ball down the field. Bowden's going to go for the shot, but doesn't have control. So now Nathaniel's going to tip it away. And Haxer's going to take it down the field. Cloden's going to look to that half boost. Gets it away from Haxer's, but Nathaniel's going to set up the play. Tungsten's going to tip, but does get blocked by Shank. Now V. Corsic's going to knock it down, but a little wide right. Now they're going to center it up, but just no opportunity there for Marietta. So now Ketter's going to take the ball down the field. About a minute 20 remains. Shank's going to get the save. So now Tungsten's going to get bumped by Shank. V Corsic's going to try to take the ball over, but one minute remains. Marietta has yet to score. Cloden goes for it, but Nathaniel gets the block. So Nathaniel's going to try to set up the play for Kettering, but knows it's not going, so he's going to fall back. Shank's only down to no boost, so there's just not much he can do at this point. But yeah, all the Pioneers are just don't have really any boost left. In 30 seconds remain, so they're trying to see if they can at least get a goal, but they're just not getting the boost they need to. I think Kettering is just taking as much boost as they can. So now 13 seconds remain. Clodagh's trying to fight for the ball, but not much he can do. So now Kettering's trying to go for the, the play. And it's pretty much going to be game as soon as that ball tips. And it was about to go in, but it just lands on the ground first. So the Pioneers will lose that one 0-4. Uh, to four. I mean, we're just seeing that the, the struggles seem to be on the offense. Uh, just because, I mean, I'm looking here, Kettering, 11 shots at the goal like you have to I mean Marietta was trying to play as defensively as they could but if they're not putting any pressure if they're not making the offensive plays they can only defend so much before 
goals are going to start getting through. So they're going to have to look at how to play in a more offensive approach if they want to start taking games. I mean, you have to get some goals in. But defensively, they played very well. But that is going to be our match for today. Uh, just to give you an idea of the schedule. In fact, I'm just going to take a second to bring up the schedule here since we have a, a minute here. So just to let you know that tomorrow, our Overwatch team will be playing against Ferris State at 7 o'clock. Uh, on Wednesday, our Smash team will be playing against Fair State. So we were supposed to have this match on Thursday, but we had last Thursday, but we had to reschedule it. And then on Thursday, our Rainbow Six team will be playing against Western Illinois at seven, and our Smash team will be playing against Manchester at seven as well. I'm going to work on a way that we can see both games. Uh, just stay tuned for that. And then Saturday, we're going to have a big match where our Rock, uh, a Rainbow Six team will be playing against University of Kentucky. If Rainbow Six wins both of their games this week, they could very likely make it to the, the playoffs next week. Uh, so we will see uh, how that goes. But that is going to be it for us today. So thank you all for watching. For all the latest updates with Let's Go with Meredith College Esports, please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Shoutouts to all of our supporters. HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Meredith College Esports. We also want to thank Buy Blue Light, uh, Elgato, uh, Over the Moon Pizza, uh, Incrediware, MSI, uh, and Kovacs uh, for all of your help for our program. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your follows. Thank you for your gifts. Thank you for your subscriptions. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a good night.